Dan, preseason is over. Played four games. What do you think about those four games? I think it went uh, pretty well. The preseason, uh, getting the, all the uh, new systems installed uh, took a little bit of time, but but not. Uh, I think the guys picked it up pretty quick. Uh, understood what we wanted to do and how we want to play. Obviously, it's a it's a work in progress. Still, we expect it to keep getting better and better. Um, but the difference between the first game for example, and the second game was pretty massive. Uh, so it was a good preseason and we got a lot of work done. So uh, uh, pretty acceptable uh, progress this, this preseason. Uh, did it surprise you how fast the, uh, the way they played developed? Uh, because you, you announced before the season that you have to play a more physical game, but now it looks like you're playing a very good game. Yeah, um, a little bit surprising between game one and game two how quickly, uh, especially the uh, kind of cooperation between the defensemen and the and the forwards in the offensive zone, uh, how quickly that developed. Um, so uh, obviously there's some parts of our game we still want to get better uh, and consistency of that uh, kind of cooperation and, and hitting the systems exactly how we want it. Uh, the consistency is going to get better and better. Um, but uh, yeah, there was a little bit. Uh, uh, I was pleasantly surprised, uh, especially coming into that game two. After game one was pretty uh, chaotic there at times, uh, too many odd man rushes and some misreads. And uh, but uh, game two was so much better, and then uh, we've continued to improve. So uh, yeah, all in all, it's it's going in the right direction, and uh, and and the guys have done done their uh, jobs at uh, trying to learn it and get it in place quickly. Even though the players are in a very good shape, uh, is it possible to keep a pace like that for seven or eight months? Yeah, I mean, um, uh, it's uh, it's a high uh, high intensity system, and uh, I think um, we have to play four lines more often, and we have uh, we've rolled four pretty much the whole preseason, uh, except the one game we had some injuries, so we didn't have four lines, but. Uh, Um, yeah, I mean, definitely it's possible. Uh, it's uh, most NHL teams play that kind of style. I mean, there's no nowhere else in the world that plays that intense, and they play 80, 80 something games. So uh, it's certainly possible, but something we'll also keep an eye on with uh, some testing off the ice and on the ice. We're doing some heart rate monitor analysis and stuff like that. So um, it'll be more what we do uh, in practice time, whether it's a conditioning a day for conditioning or a day for rest and that's something we'll keep our eye on and and maybe alter a little bit from different years but we want to also continue to work on conditioning because it's not where uh, quite where we want it to be uh, we're going to get in better and better shape as the season goes on and that's that's off ice that's uh, I mean practice time uh, so we'll be pushing the guys hard it's a demanding system and, they, and the guys have to be in good shape and it's a good start and they, they worked hard this summer Um, but we'll be getting in even better shape, so so I, I think they'll be prepared for it. Yeah, you mentioned there was a couple of injuries. Um, what's the status of the roster right now? Uh, well, uh, I guess a uh, key guy there, Stefan Frank. Uh, he, uh, I would say day to day now because he missed. Uh, we gave him about a week off to to uh, recover, and uh, this uh, yesterday was his first day back on in full. He skated a little bit at the end of last week. Uh, but this is he's back uh, full strength uh, getting hit and taking hits and and throwing hits in practice so uh, we'll give him a good test in the next two days and we'll know by Thursday night if he's going to be able to play on Friday so uh, that's a day-to-day -day type thing uh, Casper Mortensen uh, he's pretty much I guess we'd say he's out indefinitely now uh, undergoing a series of tests for for uh, concussion issues so uh, that's uh, you know unfortunate and sad for him um, but uh, then we also have Maggie Nielsen uh, who he uh, had a shoulder uh, issue uh, against Herning there and in, uh, in the preseason and he'll be out another uh, hopefully week or two and it's uh, it, it's not uh, super serious but it'll take a little bit of time to to heal so it'll be another uh, a short period of time Um, and uh, so that for injuries, hopefully uh, we have some aches and pains like uh, it seems like every team does at this uh, stage of the year, uh, coming out of a training camp with those uh, tight groins and hip flexors and stuff like that, but everybody else seems ready to go. And next game is the first game of the regular season. It's handling Blue Fox team we played last Friday. It will probably be a total different game. Uh, how do you see that game? 
Uh, yeah, they'll definitely come here with a lot stronger team just uh, just in general. Um, they, they were missing four or five guys last game. Um, they missed some, uh, some size in the back end uh, as well as some imports, and plus they added the new uh, Finnish guy earlier this week. So, so they'll have at least two or three more imports in the lineup. The, I don't know what's wrong with Patrick Madsen, but they'll have uh, a much stronger team. Uh, so it'll be a big challenge for us. Uh, I mean, every game this year, everybody's talking about the, the uh, closeness of all the teams, same as last year, and probably even more so this year. So uh, we'll be ready for a big challenge. Uh, we're going to come. Uh, we learned a little bit from them uh, how they play. They, I'm sure they learned uh, how we want to play. Uh, but we're not going to change much. Uh, we, we know the system and style we want to play, and we're going to we're going to come and uh, uh, at home on Friday and, and play that way. Thank you very much, Dan. Good game on Friday. All right, thanks a lot. Programmet blev præsenteret af Otsud.